Hey, everybody. It's the Green Mile. Funny, funnily enough, about two days ago, I was on YouTube, and I saw somebody else reacting to the Green Mile. I was like, whoa, how do you know what I'm about to react to? How do you know? Just some random reactor. I was like, wow. Okay, I didn't watch it. <laughs> That'll be a bit spoily. Um, so yeah, this is the Green Mile. It's a pretty, pretty well-known movie. The name is very familiar. I know Tom Hanks is in it. I know it's a Frank Darabont movie, who did Shawshank and The Mist. So, I know it's going to be good. I know it's three hours long. I'm going to split it up into different parts. If I, you know, for the for the edit, and after the movie, we'll have a little chat about it. And yeah, thanks for thanks for tuning in. Let's go watch it. Oh, someone's someone's out hunting. I don't I don't think they're hunting deer somehow. Like five guys with shotguns. Ooh, what's this piece of clothing? Geez, the whole town is here. What was that? What did we hear there? Hey, dude. Okay, we're in a old folks' home. Oh, oh, flirting. Morning, Mr. Edgecombe. Dry and cold. Cold is better. Especially on those long walks. What? Don't let Nurse Godzilla catch you. He'll oh, wind up. Nurse Ratchet, is it? What do you do up in those hills? Just walk. No, we get to see where he goes. Oh, this looks nice. This little place. Oh, he's got a cabin up here. He just goes down to the old folks' home for some food to flirt with the ladies. He comes up here to write his novel. Jerry, Jerry. Why we always watch this stuff? Because nobody knows where the remote control is. Who's yeah, Body Strider? Yeah, it's back. What was that? Wearing yourself out with those walks every day, that's what I think. Yeah, you have no energy for me. When do you get back? Well, if Madge doesn't care, I certainly don't. Oh, this here is worth this is a look. better? Yeah. This song reminds me of something. I think this might be a flash forward. Oh, he's crying. Oh, I like this story. I ever tell you that I was a prison guard during the Depression? Ooh. In charge of death row, that I supervised all the executions. That's got to be a pretty tough job. In 1935, that year, I had the worst urinary infection of my life. Oh, jeez. Oh, here we go. Oh. Okay, so the rest of the movie will be back here, and then we'll probably end with him in the future. I think he's supposed to be Tom Hanks. This looks much nicer than the Shawshank one, but I think it's just because it's sunny. <laughs> it's probably worse. Hey, Tom. Oh, he's got a urinary tract in infection or something. He can't pee? Is that what that is? Bryce, give me a minute. Dude, I'm trying to pee here. What do you want me for? You should have took the day off going to see the doctor. Yeah, maybe. New arrival, you know better. What's well, a new arrival? Okay. It's not as bad as it was. Huh? <laughs> I hate to see it when it was look alive, Dean. at its worst. Oh. He's just Dead heavy. Man. Oh, he's, oh, he's blocked the side Dead man walking. Dude, he'll crush you with his hands. You might want to reconsider getting in the cell with this guy. He's enormous. Can't be bigger than you. <laughs> Dead man walking here. Where's the respect? Sure, it's death row, but you don't have to remind him all the time. Dead man walking here. Oh, this guy. I hope this guy Dead gets man. punched. For a sec. It's enough. Yeah. He has a punchable face, doesn't he? 
<laughs> I love the way we haven't seen... He's so tall, we haven't seen his head yet. Hello. I'm not going to have any trouble with you, big boy. Oh, we're going to see him. Hey, how's it going? Are you going to fit in the cell? Move your hey. ass. Hey, I blood. Ooh. Never has somebody made my shit list so quickly. Percy. I don't care where you go, Percy. Just the moment's not here at this very moment. Get out of my sight, dude. With your baton and your attitude. <laughs> Nobody likes him. Damn it, Percy. How'd you get the job? Nepotism? Probably. You're gonna be nice. You're not gonna try and kill us, are you? He seems okay. He seems cool. Whatever he was supposed to have done, he probably didn't do it. Questions. Do you leave the light on after bedtime? Oh, shit, wow. Because I get a little scared in the dark sometimes. He's like a, he's like a kid. It's a strange play. Jeez, oh, I feel sorry for him already. We always keep a few lights burning out in the car, though. Oh. Do it, Tom. He seems nice. Yeah, Tom's a good guy. Paul. Oh, was he the guy they were chasing at the start with the pitchforks? Is this? I couldn't help it, boss. I tried to take it back, but it was too late. What? Right now, I want to hear about this new inmate. Aside from how big he is, okay? Yeah, who is he? What do he do? What do you do? Make your blood curdle. What do he do? Oh, he's reading. This is what happened. The girls are gone! Did he Okay, this is what we saw. Kenneth! Oh. oh shit, you hear that scream? Oh! Jesus. Jesus. Oh, fuck. I tried to take it back, but it was too late. I interrupt. Oh! He was in the last Back movie, I saw. Linda's not so well, Paul. No headaches. I have problems peeing, dude. You think you have problems? It's something they can see on the x-ray. Oh, like a tumor? Maybe it's something they can fix. Maybe. The true you ordered Poissy Wetmore off the block? It is. Yeah, get that asshole away from my block. If the governor of this state has only one nephew, and his name happens to be Poissy Wetmore. But Poissy has an application in a Briar Ridge. The mental hospital. Administration job. Yeah, keep him in administration. He'd probably love to be the one to pull the electric chair. I think he just wants to see one cook up close. Yeah, he's sadistic. I'm just going to pause it just to talk a little bit. I don't know, the guy seems so meek. So nice in prison. I think I just want him to be innocent because of Percy. God damn it, Percy. Maybe Percy killed those kids, right? Percy. That little shit. He goes out, kills the kids, leaves them there. John walks by, he's like, what the kids, the kids. And the, the angry mob with their pitchforks and the torches. Anyway, Tom's a good guy. The other people seem to be, the, the other guys, apart from Percy, they seem fine. No problems with them. And that's all I gotta say so far. Get back to it. Have you seen Dark Bishop yet? He's just gonna want me to take sulfur tablets and I'll spend the rest of the week puking in every corner of my office. It will run its course all by itself. Thank you very much. For me, he's a man's man. He don't, he don't need to see no doctor. He just write it out. <laughs> ooh, ooh. What are we looking at? Look again. Oh! Mouse! Oh buddy, you would you don't want to be in here. Hey little buddy. Get some cheese or something. Oh. Where do I know this guy from? Lots of things I think. Do you wanna bring back like a hundred of your friends? Yep. He's off to tell everybody. Well, 
He's in the damn restraint room. Do to go in there? All right. Let's go get the damn mouse. Oh, we're going to kill it. So me a mouse go by. <laughs> yeah. Over on you. Oh, Jesus. Did I never used this room before? Well, where is it? Probably wandered out. And they were moving all the stuff. I wouldn't want to be in this room. You let him get past you. No, I did not. Yeah, it's your fault, dude. I've been here all the time. So where the hell is he? He's in the mop. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, this is Percy. You little son of a Oh, bitch. get out of there, mouse. It's frickin' Percy, he'll kill you. This brave little bastard, gotta give him that. See, everybody, everybody wants to feed the mouse, except for Percy, who wants to kill everything in sight. Percy would kill his own mother, just so watch her bleed. Ah! Oh. <laughs> it's just a mouse, dude. He's had a bad upbringing or something. He's just lost it. <laughs> the way he threw the baton at the mouse, though, that was that was hilarious. He's a bit of a coward, you know what I'm, you know what I mean? What did you do, Mister? Your daughter and her family are here. Oh. I want at least two rehearsals before he gets back. Let's go on. I'm rehearsing the the walk Walking to the, the electric chair. Oh, jeez, look at this guy with a gun. Now. But you, I think I prefer the gun to then the electric chair. Just shoot in the head. You know what Watch I mean? and learn. Oh, this guy, he just wants to, he, he's going to do it in rehearsal. Get it wired. So do we have to practice this part? Roll on one. Roll on one means I turn the generator up full. Mm. Soak the sponge. The sponge goes on the head or something? To conduct the electric, I don't know how it works. Why is he putting that sponge on his head? Yeah, you talk. It's electricity directly to the brain, fast yeah. like a bullet. You don't ever throw the switch on a man without that. What happens if you don't have it on? Oh, they're foreshadowing. They're foreshadowing something. Whenever a, mo a movie says, don't do this, they got to do it. Roll on, two. And this is where we would do the thing? And that's it. All right, let's do it again. Let's get it right this time. And Percy, could you go? I swear to God, Percy, you kill somebody in this movie, I'm gonna reckon find your fictitious ass. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, it's this guy. We're doing this guy. He didn't even really say anything in this movie. And that's why they, they practiced when he was talking to his family. That makes sense. You think if a man sincerely repents on what he'd done wrong, that he might get to go back to the time that was happiest for him and live there forever? I just about believe that very thing. Can you imagine knowing when you're about to die? You'll be fine. Hmm? You'll do fine. I don't think I actually want to see it, though. Oh, jeez. Roll on, two. Jeez. Oh. That didn't, that, didn't, that doesn't seem instant, does it? You know? At least four or five seconds of him struggling and then... Were we making sure he's dead? Again? He wasn't dead? Jesus. Adios, Chief. Barbaric. Drop us a card from hell. Fuck off. He's paid what he owed. So keep a goddamn hands off him. Yeah, get out of here, dude. By the way, the actor who plays Percy, great job, great job. I hate that guy so much. <laughs> there's just, there's no good, <laughs> there's nothing good about him. Apart from his comedic throwing of the, the baton, there's no, no sympathy. Why don't you just move on? Take that job at Briar Ridge. Well, I might just take it too, as soon as you put me out front. What? I want brutal spot for the next execution. He wants to be there. So look in their eyes. Hey, John, how's, how's it going? Did you kill those girls? One <laughs> You are not going to believe this. What is it? I don't believe it already. Why are you laughing? <laughs> oh, the mouse! I don't dim it out, mouse. He made a friend. Watch what he do. 
do him. <laughs> He's smart, Mr. Jangles. Mr. Jangles. This guy's Grab a crazy. box for my mouse. <laughs> That's so smart, mouse deal. Yeah. I hear a circus mouse or something. Looks like you found yourself a new friend there, Dale. Hey, Percy. Don't hate him. Swear to God, if Percy kills his mouse. We ought to find a cigar box. We gotta put poison and, uh, in the cigar box. Get some cotton batting from the dispensary to line it with. Yeah, that should do real nice. He, he's gonna kill this mouse. He's gonna kill it. You know it. I know it. Freaking Percy with his stupid. Man said, get a cigar box. Hey, you, where, where's this butter? Where? Who? You got a new prisoner coming in here tomorrow. William Wharton. A problem child. Tough one? Killed three people and hold up. One of them, a pregnant woman. It's a tumor, Paul. Tumor. A brain tumor. Deep inside where can they can't I, operate. Can't get it. For the life of me, Paul. I can't think how to tell my wife. She's going to die. The last shot of this movie better be Tom Hanks taking a long piss. That's all I'm saying. Jeez, he's gonna keel over if he doesn't see a doctor. Oh, he's not making it. He's not making it. Oh, oh. Oh, God. <laughs> see Dr. Bishop. I'm going. He's going. As soon as yeah. you get that new inmate squared away. Oh, I wanna see this new guy? Billy the Kid? Sh Shawshank also had a new guy? Oh, he seems a bit out of it. I know the actor, but... Boy is dope to the gills. Is he faking it? He could be faking it. You faking it? Hey. He's gonna run for it. Hey. hey. Percy, you're gonna get You've been declared bitten. competent, son. Whew. I wonder what he's like when he's not drugged up. Oh, you don't look so good. And he's going to the doctor today, later. I need to see you down here, boss. What do you want? We have a good after. Tend to just now, John Coffey. And just the, the phone. Come on, let's go. Look alive, big boy. Oh, you okay, Tom? John, what did you want? Careful. What? Careful. Careful. Is he psychic or something? What? Oh, see the look. He's oh, look. He's gonna. Oh, Percy got. <laughs> he was faking it. It's fine. You know it's fine because of the music. Nobody, nobody can die when there's music like this. Come on, Percy, a coward. You me. You warned me. You Come on. Got him. See the music. The music. Nobody's gonna die when there's music playing. Yeah, big fucker. You should see John. Damn, damn it, cowardly frickin' lion pa Percy. Well, what about you? You're already collapsed. I'm going to the ah, doctor. Till you all come back. He used to go see that the... John, John, he said something. He was like, be careful. Like he sensed the girls getting murdered. And he went looking for them. Something like that. Hey, Tom, hey, just, just rest him. You, you doing okay? I should call him Paul, but Paul, it's Tom Hanks. I need to see you down here. <laughs> Just gonna crawl to you, John. This is not a good time. <laughs> John Coffey, not a good time. I need to talk to you. I didn't know there was gonna be so much humor in the movie. Could you tell me the, the lottery numbers? Closer. Yeah? You wanna whisper something to me? What do you want, John Coffey? Just to help. What? What's he doing? What the fuck is going on? He's magic. Did he fix him? Did he? Is he okay though? Oh, oh, what the hell? This movie just went paranormal out of nowhere. It went from a normal movie about death row to. You just knew to me. I helped it. Can you pee? I just took it back, so. You took it back. It's 
So he's talking about with the girls. He said he couldn't take it back. He couldn't help them. We solved it. We solved it. What am I doing? He has some sort of weird power. I thought it was like telecate, like super, like he could predict the future or something, and then he solved Tom's pee problem. Oh, maybe he could bring the bring the captain's, you know, with the tumor. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> just too many thoughts going through my head right now. I'm like, I'm trying to piece everything I've seen so far together in my head to predict the rest of the movie. Uh, but I still have to keep an eye on what's it go. Tom's just peeing. Tom, I didn't even need to pause it. Tom's just taking a piss. You go, Tom. Best piss you've had all freaking year. So this guy, John. Coffee. He's magic. He has some sort of power. He can take your urinary tract infection, absorb it into himself, and expel it as flies. He also knew that the guy wasn't drugged up and was gonna because he was not careful. I think I think that's I think I think so. So he has like this intuition, this sense that shit's about to go down. We know that we found him next to these two girls. We didn't see him kill these two girls. We just saw him. He had his hands on them. And he couldn't... I can't remember the exact words he used, but it was the same words he used to... to Tom, take it back or something. So I think he was, he sensed something was happening to the girls with his ESP. He goes to try and find them. They're already dead and he tries to save them and he can't do it. And that's why he's like shouting in grief when we see him at first. And the real killer is the father because the father didn't kill him. Uh, although, if it was the father, maybe you, you, you would kill the guy, right? <laughs> Wouldn't you be thinking, I'm going to get rid of the guy who's innocent, so he can't talk, and everybody will be fine with it, because, you know, grieving father? Because I, I was thinking, you know, if you're a father and you see someone who's just killed your kids, there's nothing stopping you, you're going to, you've got a pitchfork or a gun or something, you're going to use it. You're not going to be thinking straight. Anyway. Or Percy. Or Percy. That's my theory. <laughs> That's my theory. <laughs> are we Are we even a third of the way through? We're a third of the way through the movie. And James Cromwell's wife? Who's dying with a tumor? I think it's his wife. I thought it was him first. Then I think it's his wife. Somebody has a tumor that he cares about. Tom going to put everything together, like I just did now. He's going to bring the person with the tumor in. Then he's going to bring everybody in. Everybody, you got you got a stiff back. Ooh. You got a wonky, wonky left arm. Oh, the guy's fingers. <gasps> Can he do something about Percy? Can he take the hate from Percy? Do you think... Do you think Percy's a lost cause? Percy's gonna do something. Percy's gonna freaking do something. You know he's gonna do something. They've set him up so much as this guy who's awful that you know he's gonna do something really bad. Otherwise, why have him in the movie? You know? You're gonna kill the mouse. So that's not going to be the end of it, though. Percy, freaking Percy. Everybody else? They haven't really been fleshed out enough for me to... I don't even know their names, the other guys. You know, the, the bigger guy, the younger guy. Dale from The Walking Dead. I don't really, I don't really know their, their names or their characters, so I can't really predict anything with them. 
That's what I presume is going to happen. And do they do they let him go then? Because he's he's curing. He can exp- can he explain it? What happens? Prove it. Look, flies. Oh, they probably think he's a witch or something. Burn him at the stake. Anyway, Tom, how's the, how's your how's it going in there? You 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 constipated? He goes back to John. I'm having trouble pooing too. <laughs> back to it. <laughs> Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Hallelujah. Honey, we could do it. We can do it, yeah. finally. Let's have a baby. Let's do it. What did the doctor say? You sly dog, Tom. You sly dog. It has been a while. Have a stew tonight. Let's forget about this stew. Oh, it's fading. Fading the black. Oh. What's going on there? Maybe they just really like this too. Jesus. Tom, you're late for work. We haven't gone four times in one night since we were 19. Jesus. All the healthy guys will be going down to John when they hear about this. Oh, hey, it's... It's Gary's niece. got some company. Uh, Gary, did you kill those girls? Lost a few clients your way. I'd like to ask you about one. He's the lawyer, is he? He was the lawyer for... This is even conflict of interest? I've wondered if he ever did anything like that before. Has he said anything? Look at this guy. Look look how shady he is. Like that. Might be easy enough to follow his back trail. We tried. Like he dropped out of the sky. Mary Poppins. You came up here to see if I think he did it at all. Yeah. Do you? I think you did it, dude. At least he was found with the victims in his arms. And yet That's you true. defended him. Everyone is entitled to defense. And you listen close, too, because it might be something you need to know. Sure. We had us a dog. Just a sweet mongrel. Oh, is this about a dog that went wild one day? Well, in many ways, a good mongrel dog is like a negro. What? He still oh. has the one good eye. Holy shit. Lucky not to be completely blind. Is that the dog? Hey, Caleb, okay. could I speak to you alone? Did a dog do that, or did your did your dad do it? That dog attacked my boy for no reason. Did he? Same with John Coffey. Is Coffey guilty? Yes, he is. And don't you turn your back on him. He's my he's my number one suspect now. Smelling me some cornbread. It's from my missus. She wanted to thank you. Thank me for what? For helping me. Yeah, for the, the thing you did. Yep, but you know. do you remember? Oh, yeah. Was your missus please? Oh, I gave her something, something. Several times. High five, dude. Oh, John, I smell my life from over here. I surely can. Do you want some? This for Dale and Mr. Jenkins. Oh. What about me? Yeah, wait. I'm gonna get some too. Yeah, I'm, I'm the new guy. I think I'll just keep the rest. <laughs> You didn't like that guy. Oh, what's his name? This guy? What's his name? Sam something? He's pissing on you, dude. Yeah! We've been meaning to clean out that room for a while. Oh, we're gonna put him in there. Now, we'll go man to man. Oh, what this? Oh, piss on me. <laughs> <laughs> Throw him in the room. All I want is a little cornbread. I'll be good. I do. Too. Give you a nickel for that moon pie. Uh, where do you get money in jail? Where do you get that nickel from? You still got moon pie in your mouth, dude? He sure does. I wouldn't get close to him. Look at him. Pretty original, gotta get him there. You fell for a hook, line, and sinker, dude. You were just standing in front of him. 